I'm tracking a significant flash flood threat today, especially down towards the mid-Atlantic, but also in Maine. It'd be more localized in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and New England, but down towards the south, the mid-Atlantic, it is significant to borderline major. I'm going to go ahead and stop the map right now and show you the reason why. So you see all these bright colors popping up along the coast, especially from the mid-coast of Maine all the way down to New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia. So this is moisture content in the atmosphere right here, and it's very high. There's a lot of moisture available in this column of air in the atmosphere, so it's like a big wet rag that's going to be wrung out for the big cities. So from Portland, Maine, all the way down Boston, New York, Philadelphia, D.C., right? Here is the threat for significant to even major flash flooding going on down in the Philadelphia metro area, down in New Jersey, okay? You've got a slow-moving front that's going to be coming through, and you've got thunderstorms that can put down three to five inches of rain in an hour or two. That is a tremendous amount of rain. That's like a month worth of rain coming down in a couple of hours at most. Not even days, hours. And you've got saturated soils. Now, the threat is less up in Maine because it's more of a scattered to isolated threat, okay, as you go into Maine. But the front comes down from the north here, and it's going to stall a bit. So very slow-moving showers and thunderstorms. Let's get into the forecast in Maine in more detail for my loyal followers there. And I'm going to re-loop this thing and start it back up on Monday, okay? Afternoon Monday. It's isolated in Maine, but it's still there, especially up in the county, up in the north woods. But here comes the front coming down from the north here. And this model here shows it making all the way down to the coastline. So there's a few things I'm looking at for that. Number one... How quickly is this fog going to lift? Do we get into sunshine, right? How quickly is that going to happen along the coastline, right? So let me reset the map one more time and watch. Monday afternoon, up in the central highlands and the western foothills, the western mountains, this is where the threat is greatest, and that is where there's a ton of moisture in the atmosphere. But if this storm or these storms tap into the moisture available along the coastline, we could have a big problem southern coast. Right now, the threat is lower there because we've got that kind of blanket of clouds, that fog bank on top of us, right? So that's going to help us a little bit today. We will see how things play out in the afternoon. Make sure you're staying tuned for updates. Now, I also want to point out tomorrow, especially, here comes the wildfire smoke from Canada. Now, it is going to be relatively light, but it will be coming in from the west. It's going to be thickest up towards the Katahdin region in the north woods, okay? So just be prepared for that. You see the smoke shield kind of coming in from the west here tonight uh, behind the front. It comes in and watch here on your legend. It gets a little bit darker, but mostly up in the county and mostly in the Katahdin region, okay? So this is for sensitive groups where you're going to have those issues. Now, Let's talk about the wind and the temperatures, the heat wave that is coming, right? So I want to show you that. Here comes the heat wave. So first, I'll start it off here on Monday. This is Monday afternoon. Wind out of the south here, right? Wind out of the south, keeping that moisture content high along the coastline. And then I'll put the map into motion just a bit. So let's take you into Tuesday after the front has cleared the coast. It really kind of washes out. But for the most part here, here's the wind. Now it's a land breeze out of the west. And Bangor is at 87, Portland's at 80, okay? So the fog, for the most part, has moved off the coast, although there will still be a little onshore flow. But it's a west breeze up in the mountains, up in the north woods. It's 84 degrees in Presque Isle, so there will be heat. Now, this is only day one of the unofficial heat wave. It's got to be three days of 90, so it's never going to be an official heat wave this week. But it will be hot and especially humid because... We're going to get that wind here Wednesday afternoon out of the south and the southwest. And that's the key to get heat and humidity in Maine. 90 in Bangor, 87 Presque Isle. You have a little bit of a sea breeze here, southern coast, over towards Penobscot Bay, which is right here. You're going to have that onshore flow, but the moisture content is high. You've got plenty of heat and humidity coming in. That's This is the temperature without the humidity, by the way. Now, Thursday afternoon, the temperatures come down a bit out of the 90s, but 
the humidity with this south wind is going to be extremely high. Thursday, the dew points will be well in the 70s, so it's going to be very hot and very humid, even though the air temperature won't be as hot. And then for the weekend, we cool down. Wind is out of the north instead of out of the south here. Look at Sunday. Sunday at 11 o'clock here. Notice we're 70s. Saturday, 60s and 70s. Maybe maybe a couple of 80s on Saturday, but the, the dew points will be coming down on Saturday in a big way. So big changes coming up there in the forecast. Let's go ahead now and switch things over. I can show you the sky cams and a 10-day forecast for Maine. So I can show you what I, I just put up the forecast here on JasonNappyWeather.com and NappyCast.com and on Facebook, right? So look at all the clouds up in Arusta County right now at the regional airport in Bangor. You've got clouds, East Port, Luz, and Auburn. Look at the low clouds, the fog. Portland, there are some breaks uh, in Portland right now. Uh, we're going to get the thunderstorms late. And then here we go, right? Heating up, more humid with, once again, more thunderstorms in the forecast. So the next 10 days in the mountains, Check it out, 77, 76, 83. So the thunderstorms come in the afternoon, and then we clear out Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, another front comes through. Could be severe, we'll see. Uh, and then for the weekend, we clear out with some showers left over on Sunday, the next week, 70s instead of 80s. Now, inland, it's going to be the hottest place away from the coast, 77, then 90. Okay, so the thunderstorms come through this afternoon, okay, especially the western foothills, Okay, also Lewis and Auburn, even in Augusta, watch out, very isolated flash flood threat, 90s widespread, we're dry for Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, here comes a front, thunderstorms, humidity is high until the weekend, where humidity starts to go down behind the front, okay, on Friday. Now, the coastline, a little different story, 74, 81, 82, right? So, thunderstorms late, especially southern Maine on Monday, today. And then we dry out a couple days. There'll be some fog around, still moisture. And then Thursday, thunderstorms. Friday, partly cloudy. Saturday, looking good right now. Sunday, scattered showers. And then Monday, some showers. Humidity bumps back up, but it's not going to be as high as it's going to be this week. I can tell you that Wednesday and a Thursday especially, when those dew points get in the 70s, it is going to feel downright tropical around here. If you don't like that sort of thing, get to a body of water. If you like that sort of thing, then you will enjoy the heat and humidity coming our way.